All right, so for these types of problems, which you guys did last class period, I just want to kind of remind you what, what exactly we were doing. What we learned, remember, was our equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. That's what we call a slope-intercept form. So it's called slope-intercept form because you need to find a slope, right? Rhymes with hope down on a rope. You need to find your slope, and then also you need to find the y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis. So I look at this and I say, where's my y-axis? I say, oh, my well, y-axis is right here. So where does the graph cross this wonderful magical line? You just go, oh, it crosses right here. What is the value of my point here? And you could say it's at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I can say is my y-intercept is equal to 4. Does that make sense for everybody? So for problems um, 11 through 14 and 33 through 36, everybody in this class can do that, right? Find the y-intercept. Just do it. Find it. Then the next thing is to find the slope. Now remember, the slope is what we determined was the change in y over the change in x. Meaning, what do I have to do to go from one point to the next point? Now there's multiple different ways you can do this. When you're given a graph and you're given two points, it's pretty easy just to say, oh, well, to go from this point to this point, I have to go down one, two, three. And I have to go over one, two, three, four, five. Right? So since I went down, though, I'm going to say my slope is negative 3 over 5. Now, if, let's say you can't do that, you can know that this point is 5 comma 1, right? You also could do the slope formula. If you guys remember m, which you represent your slope, remember the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1? You guys also could plug in the values for your slope, that slope, and do that. So it'd be uh, 1 minus 4 all over 5 minus 0. Right? Same way you can do it. Either way you want to do it. Usually just picking them is faster. So since I know what my y-intercept is, and I know what my slope, I gave you two ways to find the slope. All you do is you plug the slope in for m. And then you plug in your y-intercept in for b. Got that? You want to go do the next problem next up here? No? Why not? You're not confident? So the y-intercept in this problem is 4. All right? Ta-da! There we go. Wait for your smile. I'm 